to the next episode of Do Yourself From House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be working with another fun group of ladies. Today we're going to be working with Dollar Tree Vinyl and joining me is Violet's DIY Style in the Mug Life. So I'll be sure to leave the links to their channels as well as the playlist in my description box and let's get to it! Alrighty, for our first DIY today, I'm going to be using these three wooden squares that I found at Goodwill for $1.49. And I'm going to start off by painting two of them using this Parisian Grey Folk Art Chalk Paint, and then one using some white Folk Art Chalk Paint. Next, I'm going to paint two of these Dollar Tree wooden snowflake ornaments using that same white folk art chalk paint. Then I found this piece of burlap scrap fabric in my stash, so I went ahead and cut out a stencil using my Silic Cameo 4 of a little Christmas tree. And I'm going to apply it onto our piece of fabric here using some Elephant Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to go in with some white Waverly chalk paint to distress our little cubes. And then I also filled in the little holes on our ornaments using some hot glue. And then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add them to each little square. Next, I'm going to pull on the strands of our little piece of fabric here to give it a more frayed look and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add it to our little white square. Alrighty, and with this last little finishing touch, that'll be it for our first winter DIY. I think these came out so, so cute. What do you guys think? For our next DIY today, I'm going to be using one of these little Merry Christmas sleeves from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by giving it a couple coats of this white, flat Rust-Oleum spray paint inside of my portable spray tin. And here's how it's looking now that it's all dry. Next, I'm going to be using four of these little mini wooden balls. And I'm going to paint them using some white folk art chalk paint. Next, I use my Silic Cameo 4 to print out this Winter Wonderland decal onto some Dollar Tree silver vinyl, and I'm going to apply it to the side of our sleigh. Then I'm going to go in with a Dollar Tree silver metallic marker, and I'm just going to add a few little accents around our sleigh. And last but not least, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add our little feet to the bottom of our sleigh. And that'll be it for this adorable Winter Wonderland sleigh a DIY. I think it came out so cute and you can always pop in some Dollar Tree floral picks. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I always leave the links to my social media in my description box as well, like to my blog and my Instagram. And this is where I share sneak peeks and behind the scenes, so don't forget to check out those links as well. Alrighty, and back to our next DIY, I'm going to be using this set of four wooden coasters by Plaid. And I'm going to start off by staining them using some Waverly Wax in the color Antique.
And once they're all dry, I use my Scylla Cameo 4 to print out this adorable little snowflake pattern and I'm going to apply it to each coaster using some white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to seal each coaster using some Mod Podge. Alrighty, and that'll be it for these beautiful winter rustic coaster DIYs. What do you guys think? For our next project today, I'm going to be using one of these wooden tags on the Dollar Tree, as well as three little wooden beads. And I'm going to start off by painting our tag using that Parisian Grey Folk Art chalk paint, as well as one little bead. Next, I'm going to paint the two remaining beads using some white Waverly chalk paint, and then I'm also going to apply our same snowflake stencil onto one side of our tag. And on the other side of our tag, I'm going to apply this Let It Snow stencil that I printed out on my Scylla Cameo 4 using that same white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that white paint and I'm just going to distress our tag a bit. Next, I'm going to go ahead and thread our beads onto a piece of jute twine and tie it to the top of our tag. And then you can always just tie it here to turn it into a cute little ornament, or you can make a fun little jute twine tassel. And I made one, and I'm just going to tie it to the top of our little tag to make it an adorable little mini garland, and that'll be it for this DIY. For our last project today, I'm going to be using one of these little arch picture frames that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by removing that little clip here. And then I'm going to be using one of these larger wooden snowflakes in the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint it using some white folk art chalk paint. Next, I'm going to be using some of these little greenery sprigs off of this greenery I found at Goodwill, and I'm just going to lightly paint them a little bit using some white Waverly chalk paint. Then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add this cute little bow I made using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and our little snowflake to the center of our sign. And then I'm going to add our little greenery on the sides of our bow. And with this last little finishing touch here, that'll be it for today's Dollar Tree DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below.
so much for watching today's episode you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as that little notification bell to be notified when i release new content and i'll be sure to leave the links to my etsy shop as well as my social media in my description box and we'll see you next time bye